What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Blessing how to favor. How you doing today? I am awesome. Hey man, hit it, hit it, let's get it, hit it. We're gonna jump into it though. Why why you feel like this generation's so sad though? Cause they feel like they entitled. Um, okay, okay. Entitled to what though? Like everything success or just what? Just they think everything supposed to come easy to them. It's slow it's work ethic. Yeah, anything ain't worth having ain't gonna come easy. Anything easy ain't worth having. And, eh? and everybody want it, want it easy now. So, Fair. okay, would you would you date somebody in prison? Though? What's your thoughts on shows like that? Love lockdown and shit, engaged behind bars. Like, would you marry somebody behind prison or deal with somebody behind bars? Mm, no, I would have to say no because I would like to be around my person, and see them all. Okay. Like I, so maybe like if we was together before they got locked up, then that's a different situation. But uh, uh, like me actually meeting somebody while they in prison. Right, right, right. Yeah, that that's kind of crazy, right there. To me. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what's your opinion on music nowadays? It's trash. Give me the eighty. Neo so a lot of artists that are coming out now. Um, not all of them, but it's a couple handful of them that I rock with. I like right. that. I don't really deal with the rap like that. It's, it's like pointless music right now. Why, why, why do you think the music is so bad now? Is it because of the fans or because of the artists? It ain't the artists. It's just what, what they push now. You know they going they gonna hype up them songs that's telling females to go out there and be whores and body shame and, and all of that other stuff, and then they gonna put put they gonna um put the hype on guys or dudes to be about murder, kill, and all of that other stuff. It's like the way that they're pushing whatever agenda that they're pushing there. They're getting music. What? I do think they only push it murder, murder, kill, kill in the black community. Because white people don't rap about murder, kill. Jack Harlow ain't rapping about shooting, killing them. He rapping about having a good time on boats and yachts and uh, a celebrity he want to deal with. Why do the only black community rappers only get famous about robbing, shooting, and killing niggas? I think because they, they have a hidden agenda of trying to get rid of some of this people out there. You think music? You think music influences people to do crime, or people gonna do crime regardless? It's whatever's in the person's heart. Now, anything that you do outside of that, the music may pay an influence. But you already have been thinking about thinking about that at one point or another. I feel, and it just you know that music gave you a, a way out or an escape to get you know to execute what you already thought about. Mm -hmm. I think I had somebody today say the same thing. Like music ain't nothing but free will. Though. So I think I mean I don't have to listen to it. I can turn it off. Yeah. If I don't. Yeah. I mean, basically, I, I think though, uh, for sure, for sure. And they hypersexualize black people. Why do you think black folks are the most hypersexual? We was hypersexualized when we was in slavery. Nothing. Right. But at least we stood together as people, though. Slavery when the last time black people all stood together, though. Yeah, but, I mean, nowadays, shoot, the agenda is to divide and conquer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, uh, have you ever any property been lost or stolen? If so, how has it been recovered? Tell us how it's been recovered. Whatever's lost, I'm just going to leave it lost. I'll end up getting bigger. Facts, facts. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to go recover nothing. That mean I wasn't supposed to have it. Right. right. Do you do you have control over technology? Do we have control over technology, or does it have control over us? Um, I say we have control to control what we do with the technology. Right. Okay. We how we use it, how we abuse it, um, what we use it for. Would you Mm -hmm. Would you would you get that chip in your arm? No. I heard they're trying. They're putting chips in in other countries, foreign countries. They're putting chips in people. They're saying it's a faster way to buy to buy food. They're putting it in dogs. They're trying to put it in kids to track kids. 
Do you, I feel like something fishy about this. Something just ain't adding up to me. So I just don't. I am don't very. Well. I don't need no chip. Not in my hands or in my arms or nothing. I'm good. Man, I'm going to keep me a flip phone, and I'm not getting no goddamn chargeable goddamn car. I think there's a hidden agenda behind this it shit. It is. Uh, I don't want the uh, chip. Uh, how you feel about the AI shit, though? I mean, that's just the way that technology pushing us. Is it good I mean, or bad, though? No, well, my... Use it right, but I mean, it all depends on what the use of it is for, if that makes sense. Are right. we, you know what's the the intent behind what we're using it for? Mm. What's your unpopular? What's your unpopular opinion about sex and kinks? That'll probably get you in trouble. About what? What's your unpopular opinion about sex and kinks? That'll probably get you in trouble. Um, um unpopular opinion yeah. about it. Yeah. Take your time with take your time with I'm just trying to figure out like I don't know sex and kinks. I just feel like it's a free like you like how we say with music and all of that stuff, it's a free will thing. Okay. I mean okay. like what they like. People gonna in, indulge in what they wanna indulge in. It's just up to us, you know, what we decide we wanna indulge in, what works for us, what what we like and that right. Okay. What was the uh, realest reason you ended your last relationship? I don't think I ended it. They ended it for me. <laughs> okay. Why you think they person that to initiate the ending. Mm. I, okay. Why you think they ended it? Huh? Why you think they ended it? I can be hard to deal with, or communication can be an issue. Okay. Okay. So I'm not gonna say I'm moody, but I get in in different moods. I'm not a moody, emotional person, but like I have spurts where I just want to be solely my by myself. Mm. And I have spurts where I want to be with somebody, and I have spurts where I just need personal space. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not nothing personally against anybody. It's just that's just how I de handle with certain things, right. and. It, have one time to show me that you can't handle what I can handle mm. and I'm not able to feel comfortable pressing the issue. Okay, okay, we're gonna move on then. Uh what's your thoughts on people finding love every three months though? Finding a new love. It's lust to me. Mm. Give everybody a, a brief description, a brief uh, the nuance between love and lust. Lust we we tend to um confuse the two like you'll take something and if you see something you'll be like you'll see something like okay i can see a fine brother and the way that they treat treat me is something totally different than what i'm used to now this can like flip on the flip side go to um because he treats me this way or they like me or they look like this like now i'm less than after you know that that high or what i'm not used to you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it can turn into where you thinking it's love it could be like okay well i never had this feeling i'm less than after that feeling of what this person provides for me okay okay cool thanks 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 uh Okay, what's your thoughts on some men don't like telling you how many children or baby mamas they have? Is that a red flag if they don't tell you a red flag if they don't want to answer? It's a red flag to be asked or don't want to answer? I just feel like a person should open up when they feel comfortable. Okay. You know, like, I don't want to press nothing on you, but I feel like if that's something that you don't want to divulge in right away, I can understand that. But if you see me as somebody that you're trying to get to know and be with, full time then you're going to eventually have to let me know the history of that situation because i'm going to want to know and if i have to like drag it out of you then you're going you know it's going to be it's going to have me look at you certain like a different way like you're trying to hide something 
Right, right. I feel you. What's your opinion on friendships? Um, friendships aren't um, what they used to be. Like, friendships are not, it's undervalued. They're not, um, yeah, they're just not the same no more. Okay, okay. Are you a good friend? I would say I am. Mm. In order to have a good, be a good, to have a good friend, you got to be a good friend. Now, uh, this one guy on the internet said, Charles White said that, you know, being dirty is being a real man. But, you know, you think that's true? Not taking care of yourself makes you a real man. I feel like taking care of yourself and your hygiene is important. Being a man, what's your thoughts on that? You can't bring your thinking. <laughs> I'm just like, um, no, that is not true. You need to be taking, you take better care of yourself when you, you feel good about yourself when you, you know, put yourself up, fix yourself up. Mm -hmm. Like, us females, if we don't fix, you can tell when a female is not feeling the best. Her attire, the way she presents herself isn't at, at a I don't care type of way. Mm -hmm. So, good about yourself. You're going to see us snapping more pictures. we doing our hair. We want to be seen. All of that. Mm -hmm. Why do you think black women support homosexuality and thugs, gangsters and thugs more than any other community? Why do they support it? Huh? You said, do, why do we think, why do they support it? Why do black women support homosexuality and thugs? I don't know if it's more so of we support it. I think it's just what's being pushed. You said it's being pushed. Why do you think it's being pushed? That's just the agenda. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. It emasculate the man. I agree. I, I do agree they're trying to emasculate black men and make them seem like they ain't shit. Why is it black girl magic instead of black boy magic? It's just a, a ring. I don't know. I've never seen nothing like black boy magic. Don't you think? But I'm going that phrase and see if it works for y'all. I feel like we should have black boy magic though. I just feel like cancel culture only cancel black men. Black a group of black women try to cancel black men because I don't see no other race, ethnicity try to cancel the culture like black women cancel black men. Black women too though. I don't see that though. I don't, I don't see that though. Me, in my humble opinion, I, 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 I like cancel culture culture like that. But the stuff that I ain't gonna say you per se, but. What they have, been, they pit us up against each other. Mm. Melody, Who is they? The masses. Mm. The agenda. I mean, you got to look at it from ever since the what's that institutionalization happened. Um, and where our men are being locked up. That family structure of a man, a woman, and children. That has been like, like wept, wept away. Now we had a system that came in to okay. help take care of the women, which is welfare. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Okay, yeah, um, that's that's deep right there. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Do you feel like if black women didn't exist, where would gay dudes get their personality from? You said that if what? If black women didn't exist, where would gay dudes get their personality from? TV. Um. You can go a day without saying what? I can't go a day without saying? Yeah, you can go a whole day without saying what? You cannot go a whole, whole day without saying. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. What if there are some females that want a man to spend a lot of money on them on a date, but they won't spend that same money on themselves? They selfish. Mm. I I look at it like this. I'm I'm gonna only do what I know I can afford. <laughs> I mean, and not and I'm not gonna put myself in debt and um not in debt. I'm not gonna put myself in debt trying to prove to you that I'm not. I'm something I'm not. Mm, gotcha. So if I know I can provide that and can can uh, provide it consistently. I'm not gonna do it. And I don't expect you to do the same thing for me. Because why put yourself in that in for um, something temporary? Gotcha, gotcha. What's your thoughts on a man hair touching his ass? 
You said, man, what? What's your thoughts on a man's hair touching his ass? Do what you love. <laughs> you, you find that attractive or unattractive? I don't know. I've never dated a person who, a man that had hair down to his butt, so. Mm -hmm. You feel like there's a difference between someone who wants you and someone who's willing to do what is necessary to keep you? Of course, it's a difference. You want to explain to everybody what it is? Um, a person that wants you is going to make it known, make it shown, make it visible. Um, it's going to show in his actions, um, the way that they talk about you, the way that they deal with you. And a person that um going to make sure they keep you, well, it's kind of like a hand-to-hand -hand kind of, a little bit. But it's a difference because a person that wants me, he can still treat me like crap. But mm -hmm. want me, you know what I'm saying? Because they got got me, but doesn't necessarily mean they gone. You know, they gonna do everything they want to keep me, but don't mean they'll do it correctly. You get what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. What's your top? What's your toxic uh, coping mechanism? What's your toxic coping mechanism? Um, I feel like whenever I'm stressed, I need to take a flight. That's my toxic. Mm. But I don't get toxic though. I just feel like that's toxic. For you get the flight with anywhere. By you know, just to get yourself. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So you go on solo trips. A lot of them. on in the state or out the country. Huh? In the state or out the country. It doesn't matter. Whatever my heart desires at the moment. Like if I'm looking at some place I want to visit, I don't. I'm not the person that need to have a group to go. I just go. Okay, she don't follow the way. What's your favorite non-sexual act of intimacy? Um, because I'm not like a cuddler. But I guess that would probably be it. Like us hugging up. Like just chilling. Okay, okay. What's the best form of affection is? For me, um, well, for me, affirmation, like affirming where I stand with you. Okay, okay. Um, okay. What's your thoughts on uh suicide? Suicide has been a high rate in America, especially amongst teens young adults, especially amongst men. And uh usually lonely people do it though. What's your thoughts on suicide? Um if it gets too hot in the kitchen, don't be afraid to go and talk to somebody. Like, um, cause we all need somebody and we all can't handle it. Um want to be strong so bad, but sometimes being strong is admitting that you're weak and you need the help. But we in this what society today that people don't trust and i don't trust that if i go to you that my secrets i divulge to you gonna be something that's gonna be um not looked at or judged or not made fun of so find you that person that you can like really go talk to and get that chip off your shoulder because it's never it's never okay to think that death is gonna be the best option for you yeah, I don't think, you know, that's it, taking that route. You know, that's the escape route. I don't think that's the best thing. People love you, care about you. Usually people doing it for a cry for help, they feel lost. They feel trapped. They don't feel like they have nobody to, to voice their opinions to. Or nobody's listening. Uh, they feel like they're suffering in silence. Right. Yeah, it's, 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 a, yeah, it's a terrible thing, though, fam. Uh, definitely bad. But, uh, yeah, man. Now, nowadays... It, would you, would you, now they got music about emo music they going to listen to it and shit. I just think, I mean, uh, we don't need that type of music. It doesn't, it doesn't take much for a person that's already battling with it to mm. push them over the edge. So we don't need to give them something more to push them even more over uh, the edge. I think a couple years ago, the Suicide Hotline, I think the rapper named Logic, I don't know if you heard of this, heard of that white rapper, Logic. Yeah, the Suicide Hotline is a song. The song was a big song. I was like, what the fuck? Like, no, people's battling. You say what? I didn't know yeah. That. Yeah, people were battling depression and shit. Like, um, yeah, like, I don't know. The
Pressure music, struggle music, people like to hear that. That's why I don't listen to Rod Wave and none of that shit. I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, I don't music. like his music. He's super sad. Like, I just get this feeling of, like, dude, I mean, all your songs make me sad. Like, 80, 95% of his music is sad music. Like, I think he got a song said, not another sad song. Like, all his music, Hard on Ice is sad. I don't know if he's singing. I don't know if he's rapping. <laughs> I just know that shit ain't good. Like, yeah, I, I just know he's sad like that. That's why I can't. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. There's nothing. I haven't really sat and like really just listened to it. Other I mean, than what's already mainstream. You said what? I said what? Other than what's already mainstream, I don't sit and listen. Oh no, I can't listen to that shit, man. I don't want to hear it. I'm like, bro, he ain't nothing but 24. How much struggle has he been through? First of all, what the fuck? But you don't know. We can't judge him. He's 24. He probably could have went through a whole like, a lot of. Man, money. that shit is what sells, man. This shit sells. The only thing he's struggling is with when he put his pants and belt on, and he got to get that size forty five pants around his ass, man. And when he shit, that's what he's struggling with. Probably breathing because he aches so damn much, man. No, man, I, I ain't with it, bro. Everybody love him. I'm not a big fan of that depression music, emo shit. People like to buy off themselves. I ain't with it, fam. But uh, the show. So, hey, man, I appreciate you coming on, answering questions. No problem. Anytime. Hey, man, thanks for showing love, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, got any questions you want to ask me before I let you go? Um, How long you been doing this? I ain't that long, about a few years. So, how has it been for you? It's been uphill battle, just grinding. You know, slow motion better than no motion. I ain't stopping. True. But nothing to nobody. You Got a good following because I'm actually on my way of getting into that. I have my YouTube, but I don't like really promote my YouTube like that. I uh, push my, my uh, TikTok more, mm -hmm. and then I'm trying to break into getting more people on my Instagram and Facebook. And just, just gotta, you just gotta put yourself in uncomfortable situations and, and just do it. True. You just gotta do. It. If you want something you never had, you gotta do something you never done before. Yeah, and that's what I've been doing, stepping out the box a little bit more. For sure, for sure. That's that's the only way you can get it, though. You got you got any other questions? Mm -mm, that's it. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you. You're welcome.